I live in the UK, so I bought some cheapo um, electronic ignition off eBay for £21 from China. As you can see, I've already fitted them. Let me just so I remove the old ones, which actually only after a few months' use are pitted, which surprises me. And so remove the condenser. So I've took the distributor cap off. So then this just slipped down, the black thing. It's literally push slip down. And the module, if you look, only one screw here. There was a locating part here. So you can see that it just sort of slots in. And the reason I bought this one is I was being stingy and it was the best value. It didn't come in kit form, it literally just came like that. That bit, that magnet, that bit. And the wires, this is where the... Have a look. Obviously I had to push this, just push through. Bit of just pushing. Quite soft rubber. And you've got a one wire that go, the red goes to plus, the black goes to minus, as you know. I've removed the coil just because I wanted to know, make sure that the... Um, which is negative, which is not... Well, I'm pretty sure that where the condenser went was negative. But I wanted to know, because I do know that the... Um, let's have a look. I can't see the plus and negative signs, which is annoying. Probably gonna have to clean it, but the reason I thought, oh, maybe the, I'm wrong is because I know that the wires power the, the carburetor choke and solenoid. And I thought, well, that must be, oh, there we are, I can see the plus now. There we go. Not very really clear. That's weird, that, so the negative, powers the choke and the choke and the solenoid I find that a bit backwards but obviously they do say that you've got to have a, certain, a minimum of a certain power coming from the coil and to remove the coil I just loosen those two things there and let's see if we can just slip it back on probably not let's have a look. no I think that's not a one hand job have a look, maybe. Oops. I need to get it in behind the washer. It's the washer that's annoying. Come on, washer, there's one. And now, so then I'm going to put that back on and I'm going to start it up, see if it works. So, bit of fun then. I did have to loosen this and turn the distributor to get to the screw that held the condenser which was more around the side I know that this distributor is 180 degrees in the wrong way because number two points that way well it should point this way I think um, so and I, I did scratch a line in here and here but I do think you have to retime it once you've um, Put it all back together so that's my little plan thanks a lot